And now we are celebrating the 40th anniversary of what I consider to be one of the best low-budget horror movies of all time, Basket Case, from, in my opinion, one of the best low-budget horror filmmakers of all time. Though, funny enough, Frank Henenlotter is the kind of filmmaker who actually kind of doesn't really consider himself a horror filmmaker. He actually considers himself more of a grindhouse filmmaker, which, if you think about his background, living in New York, going to see all the Grindhouse movies all along 42nd Street, you kind of understand his meaning, and when you think about all the movies he's made from Basket Case onwards, he has never really strayed from that intention. He has always been, pure and simple, a Grindhouse filmmaker, and Basket Case really is at the heart of of what makes Frank Henenlar such a wonderful filmmaker. Now, for a lot of outsiders looking in at a movie like Basket Case, they would just write it off as just low-budget schlock, and you know what, you would be right on the surface level, but the thing is, Frank Henenlotter is the kind of filmmaker who, as I've said multiple times before, is one who imbues his films with a sublime sense of don't give a fuck. Not apathy, just more, I just want to make a movie, I don't give a fuck about the sensibilities of what the masses say, I don't give a fuck about market, you know, market research. I just want to make a movie with all the crazy shit that I want to see in a movie. And because he has this great take no prisoners attitude, all of his movies always have this great uh, this great personality to it that always feels unfiltered, always feels unrestrained, and you always feel like you're seeing something truly original. And that is the major thing that pushed Basket Case into the stratosphere. Well, that and the assistance of Joe Bob Briggs. Thank you, Joe Bob! Now, the reason why Basket Case is such a singular film is because, yes, it is made for $35,000, and it is kind of amazing a lot of the crazy things Frank Hennenlauter did in order to make this movie and make it right. But even more so, because of Frank Hennenlauter's life being in New York, you really feel that this is a quintessential New York movie and not the glamorized New York like Scorsese or Woody Allen would do. This is the hardcore, filthy as hell, the kind of guys who would offer you a smorgasbord of different kind of drugs on the street just blatantly. Frank Hennenlauter never shied away from showing the really, truly filthy, nasty sides of New York. The kind that even if you just stepped into a room that's reputed to be the best, you'd want to have a shower. This is the kind of place where people will tell you their life story and then for no reason just step away. This is a film that just showed the eccentricity of Frank Hennelotter and just his personality just writ large on the screen. And it is, it's a film that really kind of you feel the filmmaker's DNA in it, and it's sublime. What do you think, Belial? 